nobody ever sat on their deathbed and wished they'd spent more time at the office. Talk to any organ transplant recipient and you'll likely hear similar stories, how they now appreciate life more. And there are a lot more transplant recipients here in Utah. Intermountain Healthcare says they did a record 222 organ transplants last year. And as new specialist Alex Cabrera reports, that's not easy to do when you're dealing with COVID-19 precautions. Alex? Uh, the need for organ transplants doesn't go away just because of a pandemic, Damon Dini. The team here at Intermountain Healthcare knew that, so they restructured their entire program to work during coronavirus times and got it going again as quickly as possible, knowing people's lives depended on it. Here, Andy. Even though Christmas decorations have been put away, oh. Andy Good boy. doesn't pay attention to calendars. Andy loves ornaments, and he stole this one from Christmas. It's the little things that bring him joy, just like they do for his mom. I can go out and do something. I can play with my dog. I can go on a walk and not be, like, exhausted. It's been almost a year since Mikkel Groves got the liver transplant that saved her life. I'm doing a lot better right now. It's amazing. And to this day, still can't come up with the words to thank her donor and the donor's family. It's like so much gratitude because it's like because they didn't have to do that, you know, is their choice. It is impossible to, to, say, to say thank you and, and adequately express that. Ron Lindsay feels the same way for his donor, knowing that phone call telling him a liver was available, giving him more time with his family meant someone was no longer with theirs. We quickly realized that while our tears were tears of joy that someone else was was weeping and tears of sorrow for their loss. Lindsay and Groves are just two of the more than 200 organ transplants Intermountain Healthcare did last year. It was a record and done even during a pandemic. We had processes in place to keep people safe. Dr. Richard Gilroy says donors were screened more, as well as more virtual visits and telemedicine to keep patients safer. And everyone in our program realizes that we're lucky because we get to help others. Groves appreciates that help because it means more Christmases with her husband and Andy. They gave me, like, my life that I didn't have, and, like, I was just so sick, and now I'm not. Dr. Gilroy also says all those lives were saved thanks to those people who were on the organ donation registry. He hopes it's something more people will consider and talk to their families about. David Dini. Makes such a difference. Those are the ultimate success stories, Alex. Thanks. It really does.